background problems. I get it. I was there. I was there with you when I was a rookie. I had to come in and pay some dues. You feel me? That's what you got to do. You got to pay some dues. What's good, everybody? Lockout Men back with another reaction video today. Today, we're reacting to a couple of posts that I found in Facebook. New Jacks, I'm going to have to just come out and, and just tell you guys what's up, what it is. You're not, I repeat, you're not going to get into this industry making bukus of money right off the bat you gotta crawl before you walk my g you gotta crawl you gotta inch you gotta learn you gotta i know your wants and desires and probably your background problems i get it i was there i was there with you when i was a rookie i had to come in and pay some dues you feel me that's what you gotta do you gotta pay some dues you're not gonna you're not gonna right off the bat make at some amount of money there might be some companies out here that may bring you in at 50 cent a mile, 60 cent a mile, 45 cent a mile. But those companies right there, you really got to, you know, you really got to search for. This time right here, right now, with the driver shit that's going on, the, the so-called driver shortage, then yeah, you may get in and get lucky. The first year, maybe the second year, hell. Maybe the third year, you might not be making the kind of money that other people on Facebook, on TikTok, on Instagram are saying that they make it. But you got to understand those people right there that's over here talking all that good shit. They're not talking. They're not telling you about the bad shit. They're just talking about all of the good. See, I am here to let you know about the bad. You're going to go through company to company to company to find a company that you're going to that you're going to enjoy working for and make that kind of money that you're looking for. I'm just saying, you're not going to find that off the rip coming out of school and thinking that you're going to be making bukus of money. You're not. When you get out of school, that's when the dues is start to being paid. When you get to a company, you're going to have to get trained. And in order to get trained, you're going to have to go out with a trainer. And in order to go out with a trainer, you're not going to make that much money with a trainer. You're going to be out with a trainer for like maybe three, four weeks, depending on how long it takes you to get it. See, the schools is only training you just to get your license. Understand that. That's point one. They only train you to get your license. OK, now, once you get your license, you're going to have to go out with a trainer and do some real world experience while you're training you're not going to make that much money you're going to be like what about 400 at the most i made 475 a week when i went out training with us express okay all right i'm just letting you know that's that's where i was at in the beginning but see i knew that i had to pay dues i knew that money wasn't enough to take care of bills responsibilities and all that other stuff i knew that but i had to make it work i had to do some sacrifices i had to do moving or around stuff i had to do that that's what you have to do you have to do the same thing you gotta take a little bit of money for the week and then all the other money you gotta negotiate with your bills until you finish with the training now once you're done with the training all right you're done with the training right now you got your own truck and now they offer you a position all right because you you necessary while you out training you still working for the company you still getting paid but you don't have a position and what i mean by that is that you don't have your own truck when you get seated in your own truck then you got the position all right but understand that they gonna they they not gonna give you that top tier money yet you still got to pay dues so look at here right quick my man from the facebook group he says how long am i going to be paid 30 cents 36 cent a mile being away from my family for 350 for 350 dollars a week is not sitting well with me 
new driver one week experience bro bro i'm gonna have to tell you <laughs> you complaining now after one week look man look guys as, as much as i'm for you guys and i am i'm for you guys i'm 100 there with you but you coming out here complaining after one week you're not gonna make it g you're not gonna make it that's the sacrifice you making to be away from your family to make it better and at 350 dollars a week if that's what the company is offering hey you got to pay the dues now i know some people just might disagree with me on that but you got to pay dues but there's people that do agree with me on that let's look at those people let's look at those people like my man right here he says it's amazing how much pure bullshit is on these comments how do y'all sleep at night telling these lies it doesn't take a mathematician to figure out those saying that they making 300 and i mean 3,500 a week for a mega carrier and little to no experience don't run seven or 8k miles a week at 6500 i mean at 65 miles per hour this guy right here he says realistically what drivers on here started out with good money keep it real some of the rates are worse than what uh are worse than when i started ain't no company gonna give good money to an experienced inexperienced driver you you're gonna need like 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 at least two to three years experience to even get with a with a with a small company that's willing to give you good money there you're gonna have to pay your dues my g you're gonna have to pay it period you're not gonna make you're not gonna jump out and make x amount of money you just not this guy says everyone pays their dues bro you have to, you got to get your experience somewhere but you should definitely always be on the lookout for something better you should always be on the lookout for something better you know but in the beginning you know maybe the zero to six months six months to a year you you're not going to be inspected to make that kind of money that you're thinking that you're going to be making when you jump up in here this guy right here says you bitching already look for a different carrier but in all all said all said trucking is just isn't for you here's some good advice before i get on up out of here all right my g listen this is what you want to do you got to continue to pay your dues all right but while you're doing that okay keep your driving record clean make sure that uh make sure that you definitely keep your driving record clean that's that's going to be that's going to be the offset that's what they're going to be looking for keep the companies that you're working for low because that's another thing companies look at they they see you job jumping job jumping job jumping they they don't want nothing in that they want somebody that's going to be loyal that's going to be there for a while that's going to do the work all right and last but not least man you're going to at least need about maybe two years i maybe more maybe you know maybe more but at least two years to get with a company that you're going to you know that you're going to make that good money with all right moving up to a better job once or twice not every time a mega carry lies to you and say come on over we got what you need we could give you the miles we could give you the money sometimes the money is there but the miles isn't sometimes the miles is there and the money isn't you know do not do that too many times you know all right so brother man keep your keep your driving record safe keep it clean and keep the drop and, and keep the job list low but i hate to tell you this before i go if you're complaining now and you bitching now then you might want to hurry up and jump out of this industry because it just might not be for you well guys if you like the video leave a like it does help the channel a lot thank you for watching i really do appreciate it follow me on tiktok and instagram and i'm about to get on up out of here bye for now peace